Hey there fellow travelers, my name is Elion and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Reshade to prepare for all the new presets that will be coming out. Yeah, that's right. New presets will be coming out from our favorite preset creators. So if you did do the G-Shade conversion for these new presets to work correctly, you're going to basically need to undo that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you're just a new Reshade user, you can actually use this guide to set up your reshade the normal way without having to do the extra steps. So today I'm actually going to use the amazing Yomigami Okami's ported presets, Okami, that are now ready for reshade to show you how to install this. And then once we've installed it, I'll show you how it looks in game. So we're going to use this tweet by Yomigami to basically install our new shaders and presets. This tweet will be down in the description below, so make sure to go like and retweet that so that you can show Yamigami and their friend Manon, who helped them port over all these presets, some love. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click this GitHub link. And it's going to bring us to the GitHub for the Yomigami Okami reshade port. Once you're here, you can scroll down and see examples of the shaders, actually quite lovely looking examples, on both light-skinned and dark skin characters, which is a lovely touch to let all of us people with darker skin characters get to see what these shaders are going to look like on us. And I'd say they look fantastic. If you scroll just a little bit farther down, you'll see there's download steps. And you can actually just easily click here where it says releases section of the repository. And then scroll down once you're here and click on source code dot zip. This is going to download the source code and you can save it wherever you normally do. For me, it's downloads folder. On top of this, if you don't already have Reshade, you're going to want to go to Reshade's website and download Reshade. That is reshade.me. Once you're here, you can click the download button. Now, the Okami presets don't need full add-on support, but for the sake of future use, we're going to download Reshade 5.6.0 with full add-on support. It will warn you that it is intended for single-player games and that can cause bans in multiplayer games. Now, Square Enix has already on their forum said that this is relatively okay to use Reshade. It doesn't go against their TOS. However, I will always say, use at your own risk. I know I do. So save the Reshade setup. And we're going to pull the GitHub back up because it's going to tell us how to install this correctly. So open up your download folder. And as you can see in mine, we have the reshade setup and the Yomigami Okami reshade shaders. We're going to want to unzip the Yomigami Okami reshade shaders. If you do not have a program installed on your computer to assist with this, Windows does actually come with a, its own unzipping extractor. You can right click on this file and click extract all. You'll see this window opens up and you can click extract and it will extract them into their own folder like this. Now, before we go any further, for those who did the G-Shade conversion, we're going to want to make a backup for all our old files in case for some reason we want to use them again. So, open up your PC, go to where your Final Fantasy XIV is installed, which standardly will be Windows C, Program Files x86, Square Enix, Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn, and then the Game Folder. You'll see here that I have reshade presets and reshade shaders as folders. These are the folders I'm going to want to save. So I'm going to right click, go to new and folder and create a folder that I'm going to call reshade backup. And then I'm going to grab both of these folders and move them into that folder. And as you can see, they're there safe and sound. Now we're going to install Reshade. We're going to click on the Reshade Setup 5.6.0 add-on and open it up. You'll see another warning pops up. Same warning as before, we're going to click OK. Once we get to this window, we're going to click Browse and we're going to find our Final Fantasy XIV folder. In here, you're going to see two options, either FFXIV or FFXIV underscore DX11. The DX11 version is the one we want. If you select anything else, this will not work correctly. So make sure you're selecting the Direct X11 version of Final Fantasy XIV. Once you've done that, we're going to click Next. We're going to make sure that Microsoft Direct X10 slash 11 slash 12 is selected and click Next. And then we're going to select Modify if we are modifying an all install of Reshade. Or if this is your first time installing Reshade, it should say Install. 
After selecting either modifier install, we will click next. Once we get to select preset, we're going to click skip. And now we are at the point where we need to select which packages we're going to install. Well, we're going to follow the GitHub for this. So if you look back at the GitHub, it tells us what we need to install. So we're going to select the same quint, color effects, astray effects, and otis effects. And then we're going to click next. And then basically once we get to each of these, we're going to click next again, and again, and again, and again, and once more. And then it'll tell you successfully installed reshade. You can click the finish button and reshade will be installed. Last thing we're going to have to do is move over the intended files for the Yomigami Okami presets. So you're going to want to go to your download folder and open the Yomigami Okami Reshade Shaders 1.0 folder. Inside here, you'll see another folder and open that. Now that we're here, you can actually just copy both Reshade Shaders and Reshade Presets. Then go back to your game folder and just paste them in. One suggestion I do make though is to open the Reshade Presets folder and make a new folder. We're just going to name this Okami. This way, the presets are all in their own folder. So we're going to select every one of these presets and we're going to drag them into that folder. And now we've got a separate Okami folder. Now, let's go into the game and see what it looks like. Now that we're in the game, we can open up our reshade menu. If you've already done the G shade conversion, you may have set up your keybinds already. For me, that is Shift F2. Otherwise, the standard key is the home key on your keyboard. Once you're in here, you're going to want to go to the settings section, and you're going to see down here, there are a bunch of folders selected. You're going to want to basically just get rid of all of them. So click the minus keys. And then you're going to want to click plus for shaders. You're going to want to pick reshade shaders and then shaders click nothing else and then just click select. Once you've done that, you're going to want to click the address bar and then you're going to want to click the end key to bring us to the end of the address bar. You can also hold right on your arrow keys. At the end here, you're going to want to add two asterisks or stars. These are going to let the folder know to search any internal folders and not just this single folder. After that, we're going to want to click the textures and then go to reshade shaders, textures, and then click select. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Click on the address bar, hit end, and then add two asterisks. Now that we've done that, we can go back to the home section, click reload to make sure it reloads them all. And then we're going to want to pick our preset. Mine's already set in the Okami folder, but typically you'll start in the base folder and you'll pick reshade presets, go to Okami, and we're going to pick Okami gameplay. Now that we've selected that, let's turn our shaders on. And look at that. That is much more colorful and vibrant, makes the game feel so much more alive. But what if you wanted to take a screenshot? Maybe we'll go to one of the other. Maybe Okami Film 2. And as you can see, that one is deeper, more contrast filled. Has the bars at the top and the bottom to make it feel more cinematic, more filmic. But that's it, my friends. If you want to know more about setting up Reshade, you can see a video popping up at some point on the screen. And click on that one. It'll help you set up your Reshade to make it feel a little bit better. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel down below if you want to see more videos and help me out. And you can follow me on Twitter, which will be in the description down below. Otherwise, I love you buns, and I'll see you later.